Here's the noon update for a uh, video for September 6, 2013. Let's see one look at this chart on the S&P. I'm seeing um, within the fifth wave, um, fifth wave that truncated, and then we have first impulse. And the crazy dip that happened this morning on that on the Syrian news might have been a two before a three. This setup right here is one of my favorite setups. One, two, three, and um, we. The funny thing is, like, we just like broke out above the, the intraday high. I was set this morning before that, that gigantic dip that occurred around uh, 9.45. And um, this is actually turned into a 2 before a 3 setup, which is like the, the, the best, one of the most consistent setups are. And um, so I actually have TQQQ right now. Go to that chart here. TQQQ. And I bought it at um, $82.55. I'm up a dollar right now, up, up about up about $2,400 right now, based on this chart. But um, this could be one, two, three, and net and um, TQQ. So this is a deep two into a three. This is a truncated fifth wave. The highest target I have would probably be around. Um, let's see. 80, 80. Wow, really? 89. <laughs> Yeah, this is a one, two, three. The highest target would be eight, nine, and two, and two QQ cube. If it travels one point six one eight times the first wave, um, NDX has that same pattern. One, two, three. Um, one, two, three. NDX would probably take it to as high as uh, thirty two hundred. And Nasdaq highest target would be one, two, three. Would be let's see, thirty eight hundred. One, two, three. About thirty eight hundred. Dow setup, let's see if it has it too. Um, not quite. Yeah. But this this is a, almost it almost retraced all the way down to um the, a new uh, a new uh not, not excuse me, a new ten day low. So I can't call this a two, but if I look at S P and Nasdaq, you have a two four three setup right here. One, two, three. So I'm I'm gonna stay long because I believe this is could this could travel a lot further than we're seeing right now. And this might have been a bottom, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on and see what happens until next week. Even though um, it's it's not a good idea to hold hold the weekend recently, but I believe that what I'm what I'm seeing right now is that we may have already bottomed already. Uh, I also also if um, for you guys interested in um, buying a subscription to my website, I have a lifetime lifetime subscription auction going on right now. Normally they're normally about they're about a thousand dollars per lifetime subscription, but um. I have an auction um, with uh, I'll, I'll put the link below this video. It's it'll end at 3:45 p.m. today, and the middle, minimum bid is 189. But um, it's WaveGenius.com/auctions. It's, it's an actual auction. I usually sell them between four and five hundred dollars a piece. To be honest, if, if you if you've been observing my auctions, I sold I, I've sold um lifetime subscription everything subscription for, for up to two thousand dollars. So, but uh, if you're interested in, in, in bidding, um, I'll have the link below this video. That's right.